yeah, the interesting thing is that I'm looking at it right now. It looks like they, the the um, the GBA version is actually closer to the Japanese version's original script. And I I remember hearing that there is the actual Japanese script. It might be a little more serious, but I don't know that for sure. I maybe like it might be something to explore. I have to. I'm very curious how the Japanese VA was like too. Like that might be a fun one to just mess with, but I don't think we will do it on a stream. I feel like that's not really the point. I don't want to dwell on this game too much longer. Um. Anyway, so that's the for that's the change of translation. So I already talked a little bit about the gameplay and the inventory system is annoying. Seriously, it's a pain in the butt. I mean. I thought you th if you think Earthbounds is kind of annoying, no, Lunar has managed to make it even more annoying, and like it's just not easy to do things. And um, honestly, like I don't know if the game like, and it makes the the fights became a lot harder because you didn't have all the items in your inventory, so you had to plan and like I mean that was kind of cool. I know why they do that, but at the same time, managing the menus it it just takes so long and it feels so slow. It's just sluggish. It wasn't very fun. And it wasn't very fun. I honestly think that probably hurt my enjoyment of the, of the thing, of the game. Like, because I had to do it so much. But, I mean, I, I guess it's okay. The enemy encounter, like, the difficulty curve of the game is actually quite high for most, compared to most games. Like, it's by medium to hard. It's tough if you've never played RPGs before and like there's a lot of planning and you have to be really careful because enemies will kill you if you're not careful. And like you saw that tonight too. That final boss is no joke and we were almost on death's door a few times. So this is not an easy like and I was not like if you choose not to grind this game can be pretty tough. So this is a game where if you want a slightly easier experience, you could spend a bit more time to grind. Or you could go like me and just maverick the crap out of everything and just fight some fights, fight most of the fights and just keep going. And you can just bull rush like I did. And you, but you can still beat the game as long as you're level 47, 46 by the time the final boss is here. Um, so I guess, I, to be fair, I think the game is tuned it's tuned so it's just hard enough that challenge you, but it's not hard enough to like make it impossible. So I will give them props for like actually pacing it pretty well, although like it's tuned very to be very tough. The only other things I don't like is the unskippable cutscenes. I know that's a modern convenience, so it's kind of hard. I can't really fault the game because that was kind of made before the age where that was possible. So that's okay. The other thing I don't like is the fact that there's no warning before you walk to a boss. Usually, you kind of have to get t guess. There were one or two places where like, hey, I really wish I could have put healed my people and got my items ready, but nope. Boss time. And then you just have to reload and it takes a while and it just sucks. And saving takes forever too. So that's another thing I don't like about it. So overall, the gameplay experience is okay. It's... um. Like the world map is doesn't have any monsters. That's pretty cool. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. I mean, like there's a lot of fetch quests and random dungeons. The dungeons are kind of boring too, honestly. Like they're not the most exciting dungeons. They have great music. I I can talk all about the music later, but dungeons are boring. Uh, let's and then. So it's not very exciting, and I had a lot of de downtime when I was playing them. Um, anything else I can think of? No, I think I've gotten covered all the bases. So eh, okay, it's passable. It's good enough that you can feel good and you can go through the game. The next thing I want to talk about is the graphics. So honestly, the sprites are kind of lame. I'm sorry. It's just that they took the Sega CD sprites and just kind of pretty them up a little bit I honestly feel like that's one of the weaknesses where we could have had actually better sprites and then you could see that in the GBA version and the PSP version where the sprites were more detailed and more looked more like the portraits that's one of the other things that kind of bothered me so it feels kind of lazy I don't know why and like it's just sad. it's just a, a missed opportunity honestly and like all the sprites suffer as a result so sometimes it's hard to so the, there's a lot of recycled sprites, and it's kind of boring.
Oh, I'm glad you you agree with most of this review. Here's the thing. Um, when Lunar came out, this is like nostalgia for a lot of people. I, I'll talk about that after I finish it but up, but... Um, like honestly, the graphics, yeah, they're they're pretty la lousy. Like they look like Super Nintendo. Like they look like they could have been on the Super Nintendo, honestly. And like this is a PlayStation One. This is a next gen console. Well, back then it was next gen. And like there there are other 32 bit games on the PlayStation and the Nintendo 64 and the Sega Saturn that just looked better. And I don't know why they didn't take the effort. Like they did so much effort on. The FMVs, like, the FMVs look great. Like, I know it's compressed to crap, but, like, you can help, like, back then, like, this is how much the, like, that's how much, like, the, um, um let me think. That's how much the, compre that was, like, the bar none, like, compression, like, it, despite the compression, it looks, still look pretty good. Like, you can tell the art style looks nice, and, like, like, even the character designs, like, they're a little bit, like, Barring the really, really funky outfits for some of the females. <laughs> yeah, there's like, when the females aren't good, they're wearing normal clothing. But, oh, when they turn bad, like, the, that clothing starts coming off and you can start seeing lots of uh, skin. And it's kind of weird. I don't know why that this game is all about, like, evil is, evil is sexy or something. I don't know, understand. I don't understand that by my... Honestly, and it's kind of weird, but... Whatever, it's a minor quip about quip. I'm like, why does it, why does a bad person have to be scantily clad? I don't understand that. Um, so, an art like the art style looks great. The portraits look pretty good, but yeah, this is the sprite and the graph. The graphics are boring. The sprites are boring. Like it's such a it feels like a wasted opportunity, and like it's not like you compare this to like awesome games like sh not um. Like you can think of well, there's a lot of Sega Saturn games too, or you can think about um, like a game like um, Symphony of the Night. It's just night and day. Like Symphony of the Night, those were detailed sprites. That looks good. This game is just mm, okay. Some cool ad, mo monster designs are pretty okay too. It's still it, it's like it like looks pretty cool, but for the most part, I didn't really see anything like that stuck out or like it looked. That had like the charm or the the powerful art style that you get with like I think like Final Fantasy VI. The sprite work for that is epic and so good. Heck, you could this game could have run Metal Slug. Metal Slug has better, more detailed sprites than this, and that's an awesome game. So, eh, wasted opportunity in my opinion. But like, I don't think it looks good enough that you doesn't detract from the experience. So that's about as much credit I can give it. And like it was working with ex with great character designs that stand out. I remember I will remember those character designs. I know, right? Hermio's sprite's hair was blue. See, like it's just things like that that just don't matter. Ramus's hair was not clearly not brown, well, not blue, and he, it was his sprite was blue. It's just weird things. It's just like so lazy. Yeah, it, I don't understand it either. It's weird. Like, I, this is not the fault of the localizers. Yeah, I, and they couldn't have fixed it anyway. It's just the this is the work of artists. Wasted opportunity. So that's unfortunate. That's that's probably like a weakness too. Uh, let me think. Anything else? Oh, and the sprite effects take a while too. The the, the 3D effects are not even that cool either, and they take long too. This is more into gameplay, but. The spells like uh, like Final Fantasy seven and eight, who were also came out around the same a little before or around the same time. They also took a while, so that also kind of slowed the pace down for battles. Honestly, if battles, if I could fast forward battles in this game, I'd probably be a lot happier. That's another gameplay com complaint. The I don't. It is not a color restriction on the system. If even FF six could pull that off, that it's not an excuse. FF six was on a F Super Nintendo that's w far weaker than the PlayStation 1 so and like the GBA has better sprites the GBA compared to the PlayStation 1 that's crazy if you look at the sprites work for the GBA it's like huh they actually match the people better and then you have the 
the sprite work in the PS1, it looks pathetic. And like the PSP, oh my gosh. It looks beautiful. I don't think NAS could probably do it, but it does look pretty... Si it's very simple. And how sad, too. What a waste. But honestly, at least it's not... It don't. It's not enough to crush the games. Make the game not fun no, and unplayable, but it's still like not there, not completely there. The one other thing I wanted to mention, okay, now we can move. I think that's about it for graphics. And now I can move on to sound, which the game actually excels at. Like, Nobuyuki Iwadare san, that music is so good. Like, I remember, like, the awesome dungeon music and like the fight music, I will always. Remember, like those, like this soundtrack is so good, and like if you have a chance, you should go get the soundtrack of it. And if you can't get it physically, get it digitally because this is actually pretty. This is a pretty good soundtrack. Is it maybe as good as some of Noble's best work? I don't know about that. But it's kind of a different style. It's very funky. It's very fun. And yeah, have a good night, Zio Corvid. Thanks for sticking by all the way till now. Uh, and like that's this game excels like the sound effects are good enough and then the and then the let's see the music is really good now let's talk about voice acting honestly meh a lot of it is not good like other than like some of the better people like um good night Zio Corvid um Jessica's is good, I but I already knew that because I already knew her voice actress was good, Melissa. Uh, um, that and like she's the same as VA is pop for male. Like the VA work, like Alex is okay. I mean, the interesting thing about Alex is that actually the voice actor was younger than eighteen. He mentions that in the outtakes, but it's true. He played this as a teenager. I think he's now doing live action TV now as a. Now that he's not 18 years old in 1998, he was 18. He was like less than 18 years old. I think he's like my age or a little bit younger than me. So I was like, wow, he actually picked a very uh, an actual teenager to voice a teenage boy. So it's um, Alex is okay. It's fine. Luna's is eh, okay, fine. Like Galleon is interesting. I actually think. I think he's pretty good, actually. Like, I think it's it works for his role. Jessica's works for his role, her role. Mia's fine. Nash is. I actually think Nash is all right. I thought Alex sounded pretty good. I mean, yeah, for the most part, he's actually like barring the intro. The I think the intro is actually the weakest thing I've heard. But other than that, he's he's pretty like he's pretty good. Uh, it works. It works. There's some weird accents that go around, like with uh, Mel. Mel and Alex, uh, not Alex, um, Lake, who we know is dying. Yeah, Alex, the the voice actor for Alex was under 18 at the time. So he was a teenager. Um, the other thing I can think of is, like, for the most part, the one thing that bothers me most is that the sound, the voice, the recording quality is so bad. And I don't know if it's just the um, PlayStation 1 as a whole, and like, maybe they just couldn't get around it. It could just be that the PlayStation 1 isn't able, capable. It just sounds really like... Sometimes it was hard to hear. There's no subtitles, so you have to like pay attention to what's being said. And that's kind of annoying, but yeah. like The voice acting is... Eh, some of it's... Most of it, I think it could have been better. Like... I'm going to fanboy on Jessica's VA again. I'm like, oh, she was great! She's the best one. Um, Nulls, ugh. I think some of it just sounds like, like it could have been directed better. Like, probably these people are not that bad. It's just that director, I don't know what the director was thinking. Like, I don't agree with how it sounded in some places. So, it's okay. It's not the best perfor vocal performance I've heard as a whole. And, like, we're probably going to play games that have even better vocal performances later. But um yeah, I mean that's about it for sound, I think. I mean music great, sound effects great, VA eh, okay, mostly for the most part okay. Some Galleon's a pretty good one. Uh, Jessica's pretty good. Alex is okay, not bad. 